Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and on today's video I'm going to show you guys how to complete every single challenge in the next Forzathon event called Time to Rally in which you can win the number 75 Subaru WRX STI. So without further ado let's get stuck straight into the challenges, I know I want to get them over as quickly as possible for you guys. So the first one called Put on a Clinic wants you to complete any event in a modern rally car to receive 55,000 credits. Next one called Time Trials wants you to perform 20 speed skills in a retro classic on modern rally car to earn 25,000 credits. The next one called Mud Sport wants you to win a race in a retro rally car to win three wheel spins. And the last one, Passing Through, wants you to perform three triple pass skills in a classic rally car to win the number 75 WRX STI. Uh, so anyway, let's get stuck into the first challenge here, which just wants you to complete any event in a modern rally car to win 55,000 XP. So obviously what you want to gonna do is go into your cars and obviously select a modern rally car. Now these are probably the best cars out of them all um, in terms of performance and speed etc. Um, so make the most of them while you can. Um, so obviously you pick whichever one you want. I went for my Evo. Now you can pick any race you want. Now I went for an off-road one obviously with an off-road car. When in Rome and all that shit. Um, so I just went with an off-road race. Now you can pick whichever one you want. If I was you I'd probably go for that normal um, highway circuit one that I normally do because it's the quickest one but I was a bit of an idiot and I just went straight for um, a sort of rally car you know like I said when in Rome um, but yeah all you have to do is complete this race so it doesn't matter where you finish so long as you cross the finish line and it is in a modern rally car like I said make sure you filter them if you are unsure on which car is a modern rally car but it will be dominated with Evos and Impressors basically so yeah not a hard challenge at all it will take you less than a minute if you do the highway circuit uh, the next challenge here wants you to perform 20 speed skills in a retro classic or modern rally car now uh, it's entirely down to yourself which one you want to pick. Uh, the best place to go is obviously the airfield or the motorway as you can see I'm doing here. Now I stayed in my modern rally car purely because obviously I'd already got a few skills, uh, speed skills in the previous race in it uh, and it is the quickest out of all types of rally cars that I own. So just to absolutely you know, hoon it down the motorway get those speed skills obviously it's really really quick it won't take you you know maybe three minutes if that sort of thing um, so it's an incredibly easy challenge but if you do it last obviously you would have already done a challenge in for example a retro or a classic rally car by then so it's entirely down to yourself which car you want to use just make sure it is one of those rally cars and you'll get it very quickly uh, third challenge here just wants you to win a race in a retro rally car to win your three wheel spins so obviously as per usual go into my cars um, and I then filter it to retro rally so these are some very very cool rally cars uh, so you've got obviously your escort cosworth stuff like that which i absolutely adore i love them to bits uh, but in the end i went for my Subaru impressor 22b sti now another thing if you are not keen on obviously racing in rally cars say yours might not be that great you can always purchase that skill there uh, which enables you to start for in the front uh, first position basically pole position for the next four races so if you are struggling i highly recommend using that to give yourself that little edge uh, obviously I set it up just for sort of whatever the car class was for all of the races and uh, did one lap here again on the highway circuit this is a very quick race but remember you do have to win this race which is why I did say if you do need to you can always purchase that perk um, or you can always lower the difficulty whatever floats your boat at the end of the day or just don't do it at all uh, but also the Celica is a very good car to do it in and it's incredibly quick it's like a rocket that thing um, anyway the last challenge here wants you to perform three triple pass skills in a classic rally car to win the number 75 Subaru WRX STI and 55,000 XP. So obviously again, go into your cars and filter just for classic rally. Uh, this one isn't that hard, trust me. Um, I would recommend using the Mini as it is probably the smallest, lightest and fastest off the line. Now, if you're a bit of a knobhead like me um, and you've already brought the perk uh, to put you in first position at the beginning of every race, this might not be as easy because you won't get the first skill as soon as you sort of start off the line because the Mini will fly in front of all the other cars and you'll get triple pass skill there. But anyway, don't worry about it. Uh, if you do what I do, so go back to the highway circuit and if you did purchase that perk, let all the cars go in front of you and then on basically in the following sort of part of the race you can just overtake them on the bends obviously a triple pass skill it is what it says on the tin it just wants you to overtake three cars in very quick succession or more 
if you you know if you're that good and you want to overtake four cars, but you know you'll only get one triple pass skill there, and then you can sort of back off and do it again. So it's all in all actually very very easy. If you set it to more than two laps, for example, I'm sure you'll be able to get all three challenges within a minute. Um, if not, you can always just do the same race over and over again if you find it easier to basically get the triple pass skill at the very beginning of the race when you set off. Anyway, uh, I hope that you enjoyed this, guys. I know that the prize isn't the best. Obviously, you know, it's not the coolest prize, but it is a decent one. Um, hopefully, in the next one to come on Falls Motorsport 7 and Horizon 3, there will be some awesome prizes. But a massive thank you for all your support, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this. Thank you very much, guys.